Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We're taking a look at a uh, 17 plus hour job. So we're heading all the way. It's a long ways. All the way from Kansas to Utah. And what's cool is I did this run last night, July 4th, 4th of July. And didn't really think about it, but the the tr the trailer that I'm pulling is full of fireworks. I didn't even know it until I looked at the job description, and it explained that it's uh, um, fireworks. So get a bonus for it being um, hazardous, and it's also a job that needs to be done quickly. So there's a bonus for that as well. And I thought that's perfect because it needs to get there before 4th of July, right? Before the fireworks go off. So I do have um, an issue in this, make a big mistake in this run, and I'll share that with you. Um, before I started, I went through that map and I also added waypoints at every camera and video um, bonus spot, thinking... I had about eight hours of flex time, so um, I might as well hit and get these bonuses. Well, they're not really bonuses. I don't know what you actually earn, um, so I'm not really sure if it's worth it. They're more like an achievement, I guess. So in this case, I thought maybe it's that water tower, but then I realized it turned yellow over the courthouse, the Thomas County District Courthouse. Not sure the, I mean, it looks like a cool old, um, you know, type of building, but all right, I clicked it. So got the, earned the achievement for that. So um, there's a way station stop right there and uh, sun's coming up. Just pretty smooth and, um, and that's where the millionaires came oh, here's another video stop. Now this one I believe is the Denver airport. So you want to trigger the, just pull up and trigger the, um, trigger the video, but I just skip it. I'm like, okay, there's the airport, I guess. I've been there. I don't really recognize that because the Denver airport looks different than that. So I'm not really sure if that's exactly what that was, but I saw some airplanes parked behind it. So um, we'll call it good. And in this case, unfortunately, I have to turn around and go back the other direction. So we'll speed it up and head back. So it's taken me some extra time to hit those achievement pl points. But like I said, I had plenty of time, so it's a good chance to trigger those as you go across the country. Here's another one, uh, kind of in a rail yard. And not even really sure what these are, honestly. I just saw them and waypointed them. Looks like maybe a train station over there. It gives you a quick, um, I think it's Cheyenne. So, okay, great. And... Uh, got that one so we just have to flip a ue and go back the other direction so everything seems to be going pretty smooth um and that's exactly how you want it so back onto the freeway and you can see we've got oh here's where i make my big mistake i my my sleep meter was and you can hear me yawning sleep meter getting pretty maxed out so I'm going to go ahead and pull up next to this guy and get a quick eight hours of sleep. No problem. Still good for gas, but I need to sleep. So let's go ahead and do that. And that takes my eight hours off. And then I accidentally hit sleep again. Oops. So there's another eight hours. There's 16 hours. Now, I realized, I kind of panicked. You can see my face. <laughs> I'm panicking because I realized I had I had about eight hours of flex time um, built in. And at this point, I have to make a decision. Uh, this is these are fireworks. I have to get them there on time. Um, I can't be late. But I'm also trying to be a good driver. I have to maybe put the driver's ed instructor in me <laughs> aside 
a little bit for this run. Um, yes, it's a game. Yes, it's a video game. I'm telling myself, well, maybe just this one time I'll allow myself to kind of go for it a little bit. Treat it more like Forza Horizon 5 or something like that. So I'm not going to, I'm going to forget about signaling. Although I do signal just out of habit a few times, but I'm going to be late by 90 minutes now instead of early by six hours. Um, so I looked at the, um, looked at the time there. It says 1230 PM and I have to be there by 1103 AM. So an hour and a half, an hour and a half. I'm going to be late. So there is a late penalty, but I just kind of feel like because they're fireworks, I feel like maybe if they weren't, I wouldn't have cared. But I'm like, I've got to get these there, even though it's it's not like 10 p.m. when they're going to launch them. But they need them so they can get them all unpacked and set up just in time for the fireworks. So that was what was going through my head. So I decide to go ahead and go back to the map, and I'm going to... Um, uncheck so any t any place like right here i see i was going to go off the freeway through a town to go catch a couple um photo ops i'm going to uncheck those and then looking through my whole route here's another one uh, i have to slow down and go through a town to hit a uh looks like a video achievement so gonna uh, uncheck that and uh, time to remove all the photo and video stops and go for it. So that's what I just did. And I'm going to go as fast as I can. And I think I hit 90 a couple times for this big old semi truck full of fireworks. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's not, not at all what I should be doing. But even though I did make up the 90 minutes, guess what? But I have to get gas. I'm almost out of gas. So I'm like uh, uh, looking at my clock. It says... 1059 I I saved I'm four minutes if I keep going the speed I'm going I'll make it by four minutes but I have to get gas so um, and as a matter of fact right here I was tempted just to go around these guys completely go rogue and not worry about the law but I also don't want to crash so I've got fireworks on board so I'm just taking my and you can see 11.04, the clock just clicked over. I'm going to be late by a minute now, but I still have to go get gas. So watching for traffic, I've got to get over there to that gas station and get back. This is Evanston. I've got to get back on the freeway as quick as possible. So I'm looking for the truck gas fill up. And it looks like it's on the other side of this parking lot. So um, I am going to just punch it across the gravel. No one's watching, right? And then, wait, this is really tight. So I'm thinking I'll just back up here and just poke the nose of the, of the semi um, to gas it up, and then I'll back out of here. So, um, But time is ticking. Remember, everything is accelerated. So now it's 11.14, 11.15. I mean, it's a minute, you know, about every 10 seconds, it's a minute. So I am going to be late again unless I can really speed it up. So um, we're going to go ahead and fill it all the way up. Maybe I shouldn't have here uh, because it takes more time, but I'm going to go ahead and gas it up and go for it. Now, I can't pull through here, so I'm going to have to back up and go around. So this whole process is taking me time. I'm now 11.20 a.m., so going to be 17 minutes late. But I'm thinking if I can speed again, and I'm one hour, 56 minutes away. So I've got two hours, and I'm only roughly 20 minutes late if I go the speed limit. So if I, if I don't go the speed limit, I think I can make it. So let's go ahead and get back on the freeway so I can get pedal to the metal. Got to protect these fireworks also. I, yeah, I'm just going to run every stop sign. I... This is really painful for me to do. Those of you who know me, you know that. The driver's ed teacher in me has a hard time, even in a game, not driving correctly. But I have no choice here. Well, I do have a choice. But my choice is I'm going to go for uh, the challenges. Can I get there? Can I get there? Oh, I have to take this exit. So, oh, I take that sign out, do some damage to the truck. Uh, but I had to. I almost missed that exit, and you can't miss an exit. I could put you back an hour, 
and I can't do that. So uh, I'm going to run every light, every stop sign, go as fast as I can, not slow down, take every corner super fast. Oh, guess what? I have to be there at 11.03, and it's 11.15. This is my destination where I drop off the trailer, and it looks like I'm going to be about 12 minutes late after all of that. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the quick drop-off. don't like to do that, but my results really are... All in all, not so bad. 951 miles, 47 hours because I slept twice. I got a hazard bonus, a long distance bonus, an urgent delivery bonus. I did have to uh, take a hit for damage. I was late by 12 minutes, but it was only 42 experience points off. I got paid $45,000. That was fun. Come back and drive with me next time. For now, Mr. Johns is out.